Charlie drove through the countryside with his trailer, heading to a county fair. He was set to battle his old robot, Ambush, against an 800-pound bull. But things went awry when the ringleader swapped the agreed-upon bull for a massive 2,000-pound fighter. Despite the odds, Charlie and Ambush fought valiantly until Charlie's attention was diverted by a girl in the stands. Seizing the moment, the bull struck Ambush from behind, severing its leg. Despite Ambush's attempt to continue on one leg, the broken bot stood no chance against the powerful bull. Charlie bet too much money on a fight, more than he actually had. To avoid paying up, he skipped town. Meanwhile, Max, his son who was living with his mom, sadly loses her. According to Texas law, Max should go to Charlie, his father. But his aunt steps in, offering to take care of Max instead. Charlie, being cunning, blackmails her wealthy husband for $100,000 to agree to this arrangement. He gets half of the money up front and spends it on buying an old champion robot named Noisy Boy. With Max and Bailey's assistance, Charlie, aided by his former flame and the daughter of his old boxing coach, manages to make his new robot follow his orders. But his eagerness leads him to skip proper training and preparation, rushing it into a fight. Despite the bot's reputation earning it a top spot against Midas, Charlie's lack of experience and flashy style result in a loss, costing him not just money, but also the prized robot. After Charlie's latest robot is thrown away, he and Max visit the junkyard to salvage parts for repairing one of their old robots. Max discovers a buried robot after a risky fall, but Charlie fails to recognize its potential. He agrees to consider it only if Max unearths it, so Max stays overnight to retrieve the robot. Once they bring it to the gym and reboot it, they realize it possesses a rare shadow function. Charlie sees this as the only valuable aspect, while Max views it as an incredible machine. Along the way, Max formed a bond with the robot and found out its name, Adam, while cleaning it. The robot was Generation 2, and originally crafted as a training bot for elite robots, designed to endure significant punishment and replicate the techniques of other bots to aid in fighter training. However, it was never intended for direct combat itself. After Charlie couldn't borrow money from a friend, Max persuaded him to let the robot try fighting instead. Max spent the whole night teaching the robot basic fighting moves using its shadow function. Charlie brings the robot to the zoo, an underground fighting arena in a rundown animal park. Despite Charlie's objections, Max bets big against the ringleader. With Charlie's guidance, Max pulls off a surprising win against the odds. Buoyed by their success, they plan another fight. Charlie notices Max dancing, and the robot mimics the moves with its shadow function. Max realizes he lacks the expertise to train the robot to fight effectively. Charlie suggests they make their dancing their unique style, and he agrees to train the robot if Max handles the showmanship and maintenance. Max takes the speech function from Noisy Boy and allows Charlie to take over. Adam, with its superior durability and speed, coupled with its ability to mimic Charlie's boxing moves, starts gaining fame. Max invests his earnings into buying spare parts and maintaining Adam, while Charlie begins to settle his debts over time. Zeus stands as the supreme champion of robot boxing, never tasting defeat. Its dominance is unparalleled, swiftly dispatching every challenger that dares to step into the ring. Not a single adversary has managed to endure even two rounds against Zeus. Crafted by the legendary bot maker Tak Mashido, the mastermind behind the Generation I champion Noisy Boy, Zeus was commissioned by the affluent Russian oligarch Lemkova and his daughter Farah Lemkova to reign supreme in the fighting arena. Equipped with an innovative program that dissects and surpasses the combat strategies of its opponents, Zeus reigns supreme as the ultimate fighting machine. Things take a rough turn for Max and Charlie. Charlie's past debt resurfaces from the county fair, causing trouble after a scuffle with Twin Cities. Despite an unsuccessful attempt to flee, the thugs capture both Charlie and Max. They show no mercy, assaulting an 11-year-old and robbing him. Things escalate when they nearly beat Charlie to death. Recognizing the perilous lifestyle, Charlie contacts Max's aunt for help. In a heartfelt moment, Max admits his longing for Charlie to stand up for him. Eventually, Max's aunt and uncle take custody. After reflecting, Charlie decides to step up for Max and gains approval for the fight against Zeus. He arrives at his aunt's house, 
feeling awkward as he says sorry to Max. Even though she's not fully convinced, she agrees to let Charlie have Max for just one night. They head to the championship fight, where an underdog faces an undefeated world champion. Bets are flying everywhere, with odds of 5 to 1 against Adam even making it through a single round against Zeus. When the fight begins, Adam is quickly knocked out by Zeus. Charlie decides to ditch the automated commands and instead focuses on manual moves, allowing him to last a bit longer against Zeus. Despite this, Adam is still taking a beating. However, they manage to reach the end of round one. In round two, Adam unexpectedly lands some hits on Zeus, throwing off its automatic sensors. Charlie is teaming up with the bot, and both Adam and Zeus are getting hit hard. Adam has managed to withstand Zeus longer than any other bot, thanks to his strong durability as a training bot and the unique moves taught to him by Charlie, a human fighter. Towards the end of the fourth round, Adam finds himself cornered, and his voice recognition software gets knocked out. This gives Zeus the upper hand, as he prepares to finish Adam off. However, he narrowly misses delivering the final blow because the round ends. Max convinces Charlie to utilize the shadow function, despite Adam's severe damage. Despite this setback, the enhanced speed and uncanny ability to mimic human movements in real time give Adam a newfound advantage. Together, Charlie and Adam launch a counterattack, landing blow after blow on Zeus. Frustrated, Zeus's creator intervenes, taking manual control of the bot. However, Charlie's exploitation of the shadow function renders Zeus's efforts futile. Charlie begins to dominate Zeus in the championship match, but their battle is interrupted by the bell marking the end of the fifth and final round. Despite the crowd's favor towards Charlie, the judges rule in favor of Zeus, allowing him to keep his title. However, Charlie and Max's robot, Adam, is awarded the honorary title of People's Champion. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to watch more of these videos.